Okay, here's the new 2015 Striper 220 Center Console. This particular hull is dark blue with the red boot stripe. It's got a tandem axle galvanized trailer that also includes a swing away tongue. Save you a few belt bucks in the storage yard. This 22 Striper has the forward opening center console which includes porta potty they've eliminated the extended bow pulpit so it actually made the interior of the volume of the boat much larger than its predecessor the 2101 so this is as big as most 24 foot boats that have the extended bow pulpit. It just replaced it with a stainless steel roller, gives you the same effect. Also very nice modified shear line on this boat. It really gives you that uh, power. As always, the striper boats have a heavy reverse chine, deflects the water low, away from the side of the hull, gives you an excellent ride quality also gives you a very dry most of the spray is aft of the helm again heavy reverse shine equals dry ride this particular unit is equipped with the uh, extended swim steps new Yamaha inline four-cylinder four-stroke extra long ladder for getting in the boat. We also have trim tabs, hydraulic steering, stainless steel propeller. We have a walkthrough transom on the starboard side. There is a seat pops in here for additional seating. In the deck, large fish lockers, port and starboard. This particular model has been ordered with the extra 45 gallon bait tank behind the seats. Standard bait tank, port side on the stern, so you can easily accommodate squid, anchovies, or any other type of bait or extra bait if you need a bunch of anchovies or sardines. A lot of bait, very deep fish lockers, overboard drains. Also equipped with a macerator, and this particular boat is also standard with raw water wash down. Port side stern has an integrated cutting board. Open that up, and you have an additional bait tank, LED light, plenty of bait capacity. Pop up cleats so you can press those down when you're in the way. Won't catch your fishing. This boat's equipped with the second bait tank, also has an LED light. It has a seal so you don't have water splashing out. And again, plenty of bait capacity. We have some built-in trolling rod holders here. There's also an accommodation for a cleaning table and integrated uh, cup holders. As you go along the combing of the boat, you do see combing pads. There is some uh, rod storage or uh, gap storage there below the combing. Plenty of room to put your feet in there for fighting the fish. You also have uh, beautiful non-skid decking all the way. And even the combing pad goes all the way forward all the way up to the uh, forward storage areas. There are also two massive storage areas that can be used as additional Start the side of the bow area, underneath the seating area. Again, giant self-draining storage area can be used for wet or dry storage. All the hatches are reinforced and actually have cam turn additional grab handles up here and again here's a close-up of the diamond non-skid surface. The running lights are separate port and starboard. Have an anchor cleat here. It's a heavy duty stainless steel anchor roller and access to your anchor line chain. Very large storage area. One of the popular features on this boat is the walk-in console. There's a uh, pump out porta potty available and this actually steps down, so there's actually about five feet of height, plenty of room for an adult to get in there, some cup holders. And then this is a big fiberglass door that shuts and locks even. 
you want to use that for some static storage when you're done for the day. Again, cup holders, port and starboard on that side. And then uh, console hard top with the uh, radio box. It's the helm area, stainless steel helm. We also have uh, controls for the hydraulic trim tabs. Each one of the switches will illuminate with the running lights on, clearly marked with circuit breakers. It's also an accessory switch there if you need to uh, add something. Compass. This particular boat is equipped with Yamaha. Yamaha comes with the uh, flow scan, digital gauges, which gives you some fuel consumption information as well as the fuel level and digital tachometer with various uh, modes. Also at the helm you have a 12 volt receptacle so you can charge your cell phone or some other portable device. They get two cup holders, one on the starboard side, one on the port side. Primary seating is on the port and starboard side or ladder back chairs. Both have armrests set atop the bait tank in this particular version. You can also oar the bow with a uh, lean post if you don't need the uh, double bait tanks. Again, a lot of room on the, this boat, a lot of fishing area on the back, even with the uh, bait tank here. Tons of room to uh, fight the fish up and around uh, the boat. The boat also is equipped with uh, trolling rod holders, two on each side, total of fence. Size lockable uh, radio box. We also have courtesy lights now that are uh, LEDs. And again, this is a uh, lockable uh, radio box as well. This new LED deck lights. Rocket launchers for your static rod storage on the boat. Again, a ton of room in this boat. Even with the two bait tanks, you have a tremendous walkway here around the engine splash well. That is a full height splash well, so it makes the boat very safe in a following sea. Flush mounted fish boxes. Nice wide walk around. They do offer uh, cushions for the bow area if you want additional seating. This is equipped with the new variable camshaft timing 200 four stroke uh, Yamaha. Gives it excellent uh, performance characteristics. 220 striper center console. Disc brakes on the trailer, LED lights, polycarbonate uh, fender wells, don't ever have to worry about rust. The new 2015 220 center console. Beautiful lines of the boat. Very striking uh, color combination. Check it out. Boathouseofanaheim.com. Anaheim, California.